Hello friends. So once again, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we will see some numericals on hit rate and miss penalty. Suppose when we have connected a cache memory to our system, then what is the T average? That means the time, average time taken to access your memory that we are going to see. So whenever we see that some terms comes like miss penalty, hit rate, and then other things that we will discuss in this video. So see what is hit rate and miss penalty, right? Suppose we are connected to a cache memory, right? And what is there in cache memory? One sub, the subset of content that is present in our main memory, right? So whenever we try to access something from the cache memory, it is not true that always it will be there, right? Whatever content we are looking for, it may be there, it may not be there. So hit rate tells us the success rate. That means how many times we are going to get the data that we are looking for in the cache memory. So hit rate is the number of successful attempts divided by total number of attempts we have taken, right? So suppose 100 times I have accessed the cache memory, 80 times I got my data in the cache. Then we used to say hit rate is 80%, right? Then miss rate. Miss rate is opposite to hit rate. Miss rate means what? How many times I could not get the data, right? That means the number of unsuccessful attempts divided by total number of attempts. So in that example, 80 times I got out of my 100 access, then miss rate will be what? 20%. 20% I got miss and 80% I got a hit. 80% of the time we will be getting the data in the cache memory. This is one example only I'm discussing. Then miss penalty. Whenever we will fail to get the data in the cache memory, where I need to go? We need to go to the main memory. From main memory, we'll bring the data to the cache. So whatever time is taken to bring the desired information to cache is nothing but your miss penalty. Penalty means whatever, uh, means, uh, whatever the time we take to get the data from main memory will be called as our penalty. Success is our hit. Failure is miss rate. So suppose total uh, one is my total attempts. If my hit rate is H, then miss rate will be one minus H. So see the average time to access the memory will be hit rate into the time taken for accessing in the cache memory. Because this much of time I'll get the data in the cache memory only. And if at all I fail to get the data in the cache memory, what will be that time? One, means how, how much percentage I am not going to get? 1 minus H. Total is 1. So 1 minus H, that will be my failure. And when I fail in getting the data in the cache memory, what I have to pay? Penalty. So that penalty is nothing but time taken to bring the data from the main memory to the cache, right? So this is our average access time, right? Then H is here, heat ratio. C is the time to access the cache memory. M is your nothing but miss penalty. So hope these terms are clear. What we are discussing, the time taken to get one something from the, means average time that is taken for getting something from memory, right? Whenever we have connected a cache memory in between the processor and the main memory. And the cache memory characteristics is that it is having hit rate H and the time to access is your C, right? Then how much time, on an average, how much time we are going to Take. That is actually given by this formula. Now we'll see some numericals on this. So the question is, what is the heat ratio of a cache memory? If cache memory access time is 30 nanosecond, main memory access time is 150 nanosecond, and average access time is 42 nanosecond. So see, each of the terms we understand in our formula, this is what? My penalty. Average access time is T average. This is my C. What they're asking me? H. So we know the formula. Average access time is what? T average equal to H into C plus 1 minus H into M. So see here three terms are known to us. What is M is known to us and C is known to us and average time is known to us. We'll put the values and then only one left out unknown quantity is there that is miss panel. Sorry, that is the heat ratio. So we can find it easily. So given here C is 30 nanosecond, average is 42 and M is 150, right? So then by putting the values appropriately, see, we got this one, T average is 42 and the other values we have put 
and then our heat ratio comes up to be 90 percent 0.9 means what it is 90 percent hope this is clear the point is see whenever you do this numerical take your data correctly that see and one more intuition you can use the cash excess time will be the smallest one and penalty will be the highest t average will be in between the two if you do not take the data correctly you may come up with a negative heat ratio that is not possible so please take the given input correctly then only we come up with a correct result next is another simple example in a cash organization if the cash memory has excess time of it is given some time and heat rate is 0.98 then they are asking us to find out the average memory access time for the whole arrangement assume the access time for the main memory is one millisecond right one millisecond please mind this this is one millisecond and this is heat ratio so see actually the formula is known to us and here it is given as eight nanosecond sorry it is eight nanosecond so time here it is eight nanosecond so this millisecond i'll convert it into nanosecond all the units should be same and my heat ratio is what 0.98 then all the values we will put and we will get the t average see here in this numerical nothing big was there only this is given in millisecond so you do not take directly one it should be thousand nanosecond one millisecond means uh, this uh, in uh, one millisecond thousand nanosecond will be there it is 10 to the power 6 it is 10 to the power 9 second so because of that so t average is this formula will put and we will put all the values given to us and when we solve do the calculation we come up with the average time is 27.84 and it is correct see it is lesser than this but greater than this that means we have come up with a correct result this is our t average by because by using the cache memory the average time of my memory access i am decreasing right means in generally i used to take this much time but now i am decreasing why because of the cache memory but we cannot have that total cache memory access time because cache cannot accommodate all the data inside it right then next is another numerical consider a computer c1 with no cache memory that that do not have any cache that takes 10 cc means 10 clock cycle to read from memory in that type of system from the main memory will get the data and it requires 10 clock cycle to get instruction or to get data right consider another computer c2 with cache memory and interleaved main memory already we know what is interleaved main memory Mem the total memory is divided into number of modules and in parallel we can access the data from each of the modules right so consider another computer c2 where we have cache memory we have interleaved main memory which takes 17 cc 17 clock cycle to transfer a block from memory to cache on a cache miss because see whenever there is a miss we used to get the block containing the data item we are looking for from the main memory into the cache so that time is given as 17 cc total time is 17 cc then it is found that 30 percent instructions executed are data reference instructions that means I have executed 100 instructions. Out of these 100 instructions, 30 instructions are having something like this move R1, M, or some other addressing mode. Means where one of the operand is your memory operand. That means data reference is there. As part of instruction execution, for 30 percent instruction, data reference is also there. So see, here 100 references will be there for instruction and another 30 references will be there for your memory references we assume that whatever mode is there each uh, memory reference will take only one reference extra right that is our assumption heat ratio of the instruction cache is 95 percent and data cache is 90 percent right cache memory access time is one cc for both the caches the problem says in our cache we have got two caches one is holding data one is holding instruction right here my heat ratio is 95 percent and here it is 90 percent so see in this uh, scenario 100 times i am going to access this instruction cache and 30 times i am going to access the data cache 
right and so see in 30 uh, 30 when for 30 number of times i am going to refer to the data cache where 90 percent time i'll get success here 95 percent time i'm going to get the success and if at all there is a failure that means for miss we need to get the block from the main memory either maybe for instruction case or for data case for that time it is 17 cc that means this 17 cc is nothing but my miss penalty so see what we need to do these are the data given to us find the improvement in performance due to the use of caches over the non cached one if cache was not there it will obviously take more time and with cache we will take lesser time so what is the improvement by using the cache memory that is the question we need to do so first what we will do we will do the easier one we will find out the time taken for non cache system right where there is no cache how much time we are going to take for this scenario that means 30% uh, instructions are data reference instructions right so see here for one memory reference it takes 10 cc yes and then total reference will be how many 100 for instruction because 30% is given and out of that another 30 for data reference so total memory reference will be 130 and one reference takes 10 cc so total will be 1300 cc for a no cache memory computer c1 so see here 30 percent instructions are data reference instructions that is when we have executed 100 instruction 30 are again referring to memory for data access and whatever be the mode we are assuming that one data reference will take one memory reference or means one reference only right so total memory references is 100 plus 30 so when we are executing 100 instruction for each of them two we are referring to the memory because instruction also we need to fetch so 100 references for instruction fetch 30 references for data fetch fetch or write whatever it is so with no cache time taken will be number of accesses how many times i have used memory and the time for each access all these data are given now so it will be 1300 into 10 cc total will be 1300 cc this part is clear now we will see the things for c2 computer then only we can find the solution so with c2 computer with test time with test the time taken will be that means we are talking about c2 computer t average formula is what that one is there na? h c plus 1 minus h into m so see here there are two types of caches are there one is for instruction case one is your data case so two times we are doing it 100 times we are going to use instruction case whose hit ratio is 95 percent and cache memory access time is 1 cc and that 1 minus 0 0.95 will be 0 0.05 that is miss penalty and 30 times we will access the data cache and 0.1 times we will get failure for that 17 cc will be spent so when we do this calculation we come up with 258 cc total time means the t average taken with the system where cache memory is there for this particular program execution will take 258 cc now we need to find the improvement what is improvement time taken with no cache by time taken with cache improvement means what it will give me something more than one right so see this value is bigger and this value is smaller so time taken with no cache by time taken with cache sorry time taken with no cache divided by time taken with cache right this is time taken with with cache this, this is wrong actually sorry this no will be removed so it will be 1300 by 258 answer will be 5.04 so when we use cache memory we are getting five times better result than with no cache memory system that is c1 so this is the meaning of this numerical hope these numericals are clear in the next video also we will so solve some more numericals till then thank you and if you are getting from my explanations please do like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you